Hi everyone, welcome to Rob Games. I'm Murat. In this video, we will get to know interface of Unity and I will share important tips with you. Okay, let's start. Open the Unity Hub. Click on new button on the project tab. Select 2D template. Let's give the project a name. Let's determine the location of our project and click on create. Our project is being created. It will take some time. All right, our project has been created. Okay, first of all, let's get to know our panels briefly. Project panel here, hierarchy panel here, inspector panel here, game screen and scene screen. Let's get to know our project panel briefly. The project window displays all of the files related to your project. Let's add a sample image to our project. Right click on the project window. Import new asset. We select the file we want to add and click import. Another way is to drag and drop the file into the project panel. Ok, we have added our sample file to our project. Here we can create new folder and classify our files. The hierarchy window displays every game object in a scene, such as models, cameras or prefabs. Let's take a look at the example. As an example, we created a circle and drag and drop on the hierarchy window. When I edit it to the hierarchy window, it appeared on the scene screen. Another way is to the drag and drop directly into the scene window. So it will be automatically added to hierarchy window as well. The inspector displays detailed information about your currently selected game object and we can change the properties of the selected object in the inspector window or add new properties, color, scale, position and more. You can use the same view to select and position characters and the other game objects. Game view is the camera's field of view. Let's get to know the toolbar. Hand tool is scene view navigation tool. When the hand tool is selected, click and drag to move the camera around. We can change the positions of the selected objects with the move tool. X axis and Y axis. If you click it here, you can move to both axes. When rotate tool selected, you can change the game object's rotation. Let's add a square to understand this better. Drag and drop it into the hierarchy panel uh, to include it in our game. We can change the properties of our object from the inspector panel. Ok, now let's get to know the scale tool. 
The scale tool lets you rescale the game object. QWER shortcut the toolbar. We can customize our workspace. Click and drag to you want. If you want to go back to the original, click on layout and reset all layouts. Let's change the properties of the object from the inspector panel. Position. Scale. and rotation. Let's do a simple example. I will rename the objects. Now, nothing happens when I start the game. Let's add new features to our ball and see what happens. Click add component. There are many different components here. Let's add a rigid body to our object so that it's affected by the laws of physics. Let's start the game now and see a difference. Great! Our wall is now affected by gravity. Let's play with our object a little bit.
I hope it was a useful content for you. Next video will be about vector. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.